So hello everyone and I am very very excited to be with another star of DBMCI Dr. Aron with the amazing rank of 417 in the INICT examination. Heartiest congratulations. Thank you thank you so much ma'am. Good evening to you ma'am. Good evening and I this is what I was saying to him that even I can recognize uh, his face you know there are certain students who you cannot forget who are actually you know uh, diligent enough and intelligent enough to ask you the questions to ask you the doubts and then their face imprints in your mind so that was the first thing that i saw his face so he was actually our uh, pre foundation batch student at mangalore right aron yes ma'am yes ma'am right so i think now it's your turn uh, let's begin your journey how did you started with us uh ma'am so i started with dbmc in my second year and since second year on was i've been you know constantly attending the weekend classes and you know following up with the uh, lectures and the tests and all that ma'am uh then one in third year i took i i attended live because that's when covid happened mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately ma'am uh, third year uh, was the thing that i didn't have any clinical exposure so your notes and everything really helped me towards the end for uh, the final exams and all that now so since the beginning i've been with party on you know, like i've been studying from them all right so as unfortunately we know covid had come but were you able to switch on uh, towards your live classes and you had a smooth transition uh initially it was a little uh, shaky ma'am because it was uh, a thing yeah ma'am and the thing is uh, live like i was uh, not used to sitting for such long as in my own house uh, after this thing so that initially uh, took a was a little slower but then later on ma'am i somehow managed to catch up i'm like if i could if i would miss out on anything we used to get the recorded videos also so as to watch it like later at night or something like that ma'am and uh, yeah i i i uh, uh when i listen to class i'm like I, i take time to write and other like i can't like make notes simultaneously fast so it always used to happen that i used to end up uh, watching the video way more than yeah like saying so yeah okay so During it was a blessing COVID... in this guys that you could see the video again yes yes from definitely right yeah. aron uh, like you are the person who had uh, attended the classes you had started very early with us so what do you think how did it uh, help you and uh, uh, in clearing the concepts and you could achieve such a good rank uh mama i feel uh, since i started early uh, i was already already oriented towards these mcq pattern and the way of studying for mcq exams so i feel in that aspect i had a uh, advantage because i already knew ki what needs to be done while i'm preparing for my neat pg and simultaneously uh, uh, i uh, i also had this notes which would complement me during my final exams and all that so and on uh, with notes it used to make uh, reading textbooks way easier because you know uh, uh, yeah so i i used to read textbook but then i always used to use these notes so all my exams and all that like i've now gone through these notes to help me and simultaneously since i started early i feel uh, it helped me uh, uh, orient myself to this mcq pattern exam yeah. okay so you mean to say that it helped in your internal examinations also and yes, uh, you don't have to do much to uh, give your exams yes i'm like uh, it made reading textbooks easier for me and like grasping concepts easier and plus uh, Uh, if there's anything I didn't understand, I could always refer to the videos, uh, explanations. Okay. So, uh, do you think how much you know difference do you feel that uh, when you attended the classes and uh, when in the first year when you were not attending the classes, uh, how much difference you feel in understanding of a subject concepts in the foundation? uh mom i the uh, foundation and concepts did become way clearer mom because uh, i feel ki uh, the notes are in a much simplified manner so it uh, and it like you know it uh, tells you ki uh, explains the things it helps us read between the lines like sometimes it happens ki when you're reading the subject you, know, you don't really grasp what is written but yeah. then if somebody lays it out for you and says ki see this is what that paragraph means and which 
Dr. Bhatti has done very beautifully for me, so it helped me a lot. Okay. Even like in second year, it helped me grasp the first year concepts better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So which classes uh, you would like to mention that helped you the most? Uh, the most, ma'am, I would like to mention uh, Praveen sir's patho classes, ma'am. Those, uh, those were amazing. Ashwani sir's uh, Anat classes were amazing. And even the, actually, ma'am, like all the classes, I actually enjoyed thoroughly because I don't know, ma'am, like I never... Uh, had that key, uh, you know, this subject is bad, that subject is bad. And any and anytime I used to attend these classes, I used to feel uh, not overwhelmed in a bad way, but overwhelmed in like, wow, like, you know, so, so like I feel other than these special mentions, ma'am, all other stars also, ma'am, I think like I enjoyed all the classes. That's why I used to attend quite regularly <laughs> the classes. Right. So I because, think uh, some of the classes uh, you did uh, attended even more than once. You said that even during the revision, you attended the classes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, so now how frequently you used to give the test along with your classes? Uh, ma'am, uh, so in our offline batch, we had this post-class test, ma'am. Uh, so we used to give it every weekend. Like uh, I used to try my best to attend as many uh, post-class tests as possible. Uh, as well, uh, and when it comes to GTs, ma'am, uh, during my phase of preparation, uh, until, like, uh, until I could finish one reading, I used to give every month. But mm -hmm. then after that, once I finished one read, then I started increasing my number of GTs. So I used to give once in two weeks, ma'am. Okay. So do you think that uh, these grand tests helped you? In your yeah, yeah, definitely, ma'am. Like, uh, grand tests, uh, I feel... Uh, it more than an assessing tool, it was a learning tool for me because uh, it uh, helped me, uh, you know, improve the next time. So it knew, it told me where I was weak rather than telling me that where, I, like, I felt that I, the fact that I took it in a positive light helped me. Mom, like, yeah. yeah, I think positive mindset is the most important thing that you Definitely. can have along with your entrance. So uh, how how many times did you uh, revise before your final exam? Ma'am, before my final exam, I was able to revise uh, my notes four times, ma'am. So uh, this, this is last 10 days included. Last 10 days, I put in one more revision. So I think mm -hmm. around four times, ma'am, I went through the so notes. Do you think it is sufficient, like good enough? Uh, ma'am, the uh, thing about revision is it gives you more confidence, ma'am. Like, you know, it, it makes you calmer during the exam and gives you more confidence. So it depends on each uh, each person to themselves, ma'am. Like, if, if they feel that they're confident in two revisions, they're well and good, ma'am. Like, for me, I, I needed more revision, needed more to this thing. But I, I felt that uh, three was sufficient for me, ma'am. Four, because a little bit more time I did. <laughs> So that was one extra bonus for you, but you were satisfied with three also. Yes, ma'am. All right. Ajay, do you think that uh, because you clubbed your classes along with the test also, that this helped you more? Yes, ma'am. Uh, because by giving tests, ma'am, you can, uh, you, I mean, listening to classes, one thing, ma'am, but when you apply it, ma'am, you actually know the subject better. So tests help me apply like that. And since it was... Uh, post class test and we had like one week to prepare in between so it used to help me you know? like it it i feel consolidated it much better for me the subject and how you used to uh, review the grand test like did you did it on the same day or another day same day. like i tried as my best to you know do a uh, review all my grand tests on the same day like after what I used to do my morning, I used to wake up and uh, give grand tests like from 9 to 12 to simulate the same time as the exam. Okay. And after that, and after that, ma'am, like I should take like one hour break or something and then I should uh, review the grand test immediately because I think, ma'am, uh, uh, if you review it later, you will forget what you thought during the exam. And yeah. I wanted that uh, thought process to improve. So because MCQs, you, I, I felt like we won't know everything all the time. So it is how you think during the exam, how you can roll out and all that. So yeah, so I used to review it on the same day as much as possible. I used to finish reviewing everything the same day. Uh, certain times because of some uh, commitments and all, I used to do it the next day. But like yeah, as much as possible, as soon as possible. Yeah. Very good, perfect. So Aaron, because you had started early, so I think you are the right person to ask this question. How much important it is to start early with your preparation? Uh, ma'am. Uh, I said as I said, ma'am. Uh. When you start preparing uh, a, a, in a MCQ oriented manner, like when a need oriented manner, you uh, are better prepared when it comes to, you know, actually shifting gears. 
otherwise uh in during your final 6 months of preparation and all that that time if you start from scratch it's much more difficult i'm not saying it's impossible but it's difficult so i felt ki since i started from second year i was more uh, oriented and more comfortable with the topics and more comfort comfortable with the uh, mcq pattern and all that man so that uh, i i felt that for me it worked out well man. right <laughs> so um, any other message that you would like to give to your mangalore friends colleagues and the all the students all over the india that uh, that you have learned from your success story uh ma'am a uh, message i would like to give is the same on the concise you know it's so that you can revise as much as possible uh still you're confident other than that ma'am as you said the positive mindset is very very important because a uh, lot of times when uh, during preparation and during classes also when others used to answer i used to get overwhelmed but then uh, later on i try to change my mindset ki saying ki when others answer and now i know the answer now there's no difference between me and him like i also know that answer now so uh, as much as possible try to get information don't be overwhelmed and don't self doubt instead if you get new information take it as a plus point rather than so positive mindset helps ma'am and uh, also uh you have to do it till the previous day of the exam like you have to show up every day you have to study every day and you have to do it you have to take it till the day of the exam because the thing is ma'am uh, once you falter you can go down a spiral and it won't yeah so you know as much as possible till the day there will be bad days but then it's all about picking yourself up like i had a lot of uh, and yeah ma'am uh, important is to take breaks during your preparation keep buffer days so that you can if you can't cover, cover, reach your targets make sure you you know uh, keep buffer day so that you don't have the stress of backlog and all that and as much as possible man believe in yourself and believe in your staff man because i feel ki there is there is a lot of uh, this thing uh, as i said uh, resources are there everywhere man and uh, all there is nothing like bad or good man like you know you have to believe your staff really well and then trust that whatever they say is golden and just follow that and the, and that relieves stress Staff, from your mind also want to say about the faculties source pardon ma'am uh staff means you want to say about the faculty yes yes, yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, uh, because i i am yeah, because i feel that already already stress of studying so you have to just study you should not worry about what to study that the uh, faculties will tell you you just have to follow that So, yeah yeah that that is the whole idea that we are guiding you what all you have to yes, do definitely just listen so, to us and keep on doing definitely, that definitely ma'am just just for, that's all ma'am it's as simple as that ma'am just uh, believe them believe yourself and positive mindset till till day like till the end and i think you will do well ma'am and so, did you uh, prepare the 20th notebook ah uh, yes ma'am i i did that ma'am like i used to mark, write down important points ma'am uh, so that uh, you know such the ones that i would forget and there is no other way but to by heart not by heart them but go through them like i wanted to keep it as fresh as possible in my memory like all the table and char- scores and all that ma'am so as much as possible yeah ma'am so i i did how much important I, is this 20th notebook in the final phase of your revisions uh ma'am for me uh, it it is i i would say it is very important ma'am, because it helped me a lot and it, as i said ma'am uh, i i could get confidence because of that like and i i was calmer and i had uh, uh, conf- i built confidence because i was able to go through my 20th book the last day so i was like okay i've covered all grand, grounds for now now i just have to give a good exam mm-hmm. and did you got your birthday during the classes i remember like vajra always celebrating the student yeah, yeah, yeah. they and we used to enjoy it in the class yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, vajra ma'am is a very sweet ma'am like she always takes care of uh, the students there and you know caters to our needs and she is very been very helpful to me also yeah the, so i cannot yeah. forget vajra talking about the mangalore center hi vajra and we are always having the students appreciating your gesture celebrating the birthdays so all the very best from the Thank mangalore you. center from whole of the team dbmci aron and uh, we Thank wish you so all the very best for your future endeavors also thank you so much ma'am thanks a lot god bless you